The next guest performances in the likes of Juno, Umbrella Academy, which I love, and Inception, made him a Hollywood favourite. But along the way, Oscar-nominated star Elliot Page struggled to find his identity before telling the world he was trans. Now, that was back in 2020. Now, sharing his life story in his new book, Page Boy, Elliot joins me now. It is so good to see you. You too. Thanks so Thank much for, for having me. Thank you for coming out. How did it feel to have this in your hands for the first time? Ooh, uh, <laughs> it felt thrilling, very surreal. Um, I love to read so much. So it's yes, to be, to having, uh, to written a book was, was... It's a yeah. fascinating story, Elliot, because you knew when you were four that you were supposed to be Elliot. You, you knew that. I mean, it was just something absolutely inside you. And... The book tells you, you know, the whole sort of journey that you had to make to get to who you were supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, been, it's been hard. And the name Elliot is very important, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I've always loved the name very, very much. Yeah. And uh, definitely had a connection to E.T. As a, as a kid. I have E.P. phone home tattooed on my arm. And... Um, and so, uh, I guess, uh, full circle. Yeah, it's, it's you. It, it, it's you. That's the thing. After the success of, of Juno, though, you know what people are like, especially in the movie industry. They want to put you in a little box, and that's you. That's what you're supposed to be. And for you, that must have been absolutely stifling. You know, you talk about it in the book that you felt sort of suffocated. Yes, I did. And, um, I mean, I think so many of us deal with these toxic expectations. Sure trans, cis, straight, queer, you know, we're, we're all pushed to be in a, uh, in a, in a tiny box. And, um, and it's, it's definitely been a journey to uh, get to where I've needed to be to feel like I'm fully living my life for the first time. That's what comes over loud and clear, that you're in a really good place. I mean, it's been a tough old journey to get there, a tough time to get there, but you're in a good place now. I think it's a strange world that we live in now because people are much more accepting on one hand, but on the other hand, there is so much noise out there and, and, and so much toxicity against particularly trans people right now. Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with that on a, you know, on a personal level? How do you manage to deal with that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very true what you're saying. And it is interesting to be, the, you know, in a, in a place in my life I could have never imagined. So much of my life, I found it very difficult to see a future. Yeah. And I feel the most embodied and confident and present and creative. This yeah. would have been impossible before we to can. sit down, to have the space in my mind to be creative to this degree, to mm -hmm. be comfortable enough to sit with myself, to even complete a task like this, like writing a book. Yeah. So I feel so grateful for that. And then, of course, there's, there's the backlash and, and that negative energy. And for me, it's really all about community and relying on my friends yeah. and my trans pals in, in the moments when times you've got, can be yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. You've got fantastic friends, and that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. Also, though, your family, particularly your mother, has become a really huge supporter. It took her a while, though, didn't it? But she's... She's in your, you know, she's in your gang now. She's got your back. She is, absolutely, yes. It wasn't always easy for her. It's, it's been a journey for us. Um, but people do grow and change and educate themselves. And my mother's most certainly done that. And, mm. um, and I'm so lucky to have her. No, it's fantastic. It's so difficult, though, isn't it, Elliot? Because everybody's different. Like, you knew when you were four. Um, I've got friends, Jake knew when he was four. Hannah, a little bit older. And, and lots of trans people that I talk to, everybody's different. That's why it's so hard to legislate. It's, it's different because every single person is different and every single individual needs help and support, sometimes in different ways. And that's why I think your book is so very helpful mm. because I think sometimes you must have felt it. You're on your own. There's nobody else going through this. No one else at all in the world. Yes, this. I didn't have examples. It wasn't a conversation when I was growing up. There was, I didn't have language for it. And the reality is, is we've been here forever <laughs> throughout cultures <laughs> all around the world. And all trans people want is to be able to exist and thrive and be able to live our lives fully. And unfortunately, we deal with so much anti-trans rhetoric and lies about our lives and also our health care. But that's why someone like you 
I mean, I, I don't know whether it's a, it's, it, it's a burden or a privilege, but that's why someone like you is so important, because you have such a platform. And, you know, obviously writing the book is very helpful, not just to you, but to everyone else. Um, that is quite a responsibility, though, isn't it? Do you feel that? Well, I mean, I suppose, like you said, in, in regards to privilege, I have a lot of privilege. I have resources that have allowed me to get to where I needed to be. Sure. And so many individuals that sacrificed far more than me, who dealt with far more brutal realities than me, mm. worked and fought so hard for me to be able to have this space to exist. And so I do feel I want to use my platform to help in mm. whatever way is whatever way is is possible. And just by doing what you do, really, by being visible and doing what you do, like the Umbrella Academy was sort of like, you know, it was like art imitating life in a way. <laughs> was, you know, the story was, 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 so, was so positive as well. And that's the thing, you know, seeing you sitting there, who you're supposed to be, living a happy life. Why could anybody object to that? It seems kind of silly. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. And I would want everybody to expand and become their authentic selves, whatever that means for them, you know? And yeah. um, so I hope, uh, I hope that the, the tide can continue to shift in a positive direction. That's all we can hope for. And this, it's kind of like nudging along. And I think this, you know, you being you, this book will, will absolutely help that. And generally, I mean, you're such a creative person. I mean, obviously the acting is very much what you do. You're going into directing, producing, that kind of thing as well. Yes, yeah. yes. So getting behind the camera, writing more, those are all things I'm feeling really inspired about. And yes, feel creative and, and productive in a way that I, I just was not before <laughs> because I was, you know, yeah. struggling and occupied with um, unfortunate thoughts that I have no more sure. time for. No, indeed, that's gone. Yeah. Those dark thoughts have gone. But I know there will be young men and women um, watching this and thinking, well, first of all, watching this and thinking, thank goodness. But is there anything you would say to anybody who is struggling, who was struggling in the way that you were? Hmm. I'd say that that shame you're carrying, that embarrassment, whatever you're feeling, it is not yours, it is theirs. And, you know, you listen to yourself and you trust yourself and don't let that enter you, you know? You're special and you're, you're not alone. There are so many people that love you and are here for you. Elliot, wise words, wise, wise words. Thank you so, so much Thank for coming you. in. It's, um, it's been a joy to talk to you and I cannot recommend Page Boy enough. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, and Good luck to you. Whatever you do in the future, come back and see us anytime. Oh, Thank you. Thank you.